All right, guys. So we're here at a campground in Mount Pleasant, Utah. Yeah, has it been a cool place? Yeah. So I'm going to show you some stuff about this place. And today we're taking a side-by-side -side out. And we're going to go check out some trails. They have some really awesome views from what we've been told. And the, uh, the trail goes up through the mountains. So it's going to be a really cool time of year with the leaves changing and all of that kind of stuff. So we're going to go get the side by side and uh, I think we're going to take it to go get some breakfast and then go from there. But uh, it's a really nice campground. Mm -hmm. They have a swimming pool here and uh, we have a, a swimming pool that's closed. Yeah, it's closed for the, for the season. Um, you can't see them but there's a bunch of turkeys over there and uh, there's a deer here and turkeys every day. So that's been pretty neat. And um, Dad, what? there is a really good breakfast place that we want to go with you. Okay. okay. And I'll tell you where it is. All right. So anyway, we came in last night late from the airport and there was nothing but deer bedded up in the whole place. So that was really cool to see. But uh, we're gonna go get the side by side and uh, we'll show you a little more of the park. Let you experience some of it and show you what the trails have to offer around here. Now they do close uh, mid-October. So they're telling us sun this Sunday they're closing for the winter because they get about five feet of snow and their water pipes aren't deep enough in the ground. So they have to close for a few months for the winter. But uh, it's a really cool place to to come for summertime and stuff so I'll show you some more here shortly all right so we got the side by side this is the one we got for the day y'all ready to rock yeah yeah all righty got us a spare tire up top in case we need it but we go on cruise for the day out this so we made it up here to top but apparently skyline drive goes that way as well from the mount pleasant campground you know the way we came up and then the road goes this way so instead of going back that way and then backtracking we're just gonna make a big circle it's kind of our plan according to the trail map you can come up here see that's the road we just came from and we came around this hill but this right here is a spot that you can stop and camp at and there's a little fire pit right there so apparently you can come up here and we just saw a truck as well but you can come up here and camp out now i would not suggest trying to bring any type of trailer up here but uh maybe like a jeep or you know a four-wheel drive van or something like that would be perfect for this and uh any type of Maybe a really small trailer, like a like a small Geo Pro or something like that. But you can come up here and camp overnight and keep riding the trails. There's a ton of trails. We'll show you the map a little later on. But the wind is kicking. You can see the trees moving right there. So we're gonna keep on cruising. But uh, Mama, you gonna show them how big the map is? Yeah, you gotta go all the way, but yeah, it's an accordion map and it's got two sides to it to show you everything. Yeah, it's got about three or four more clips on each end, so. Yeah, she's gonna lose it. <laughs> the wind's gonna blow it away. So anyway, this would be a really cool place to come camp. So I think that's something we're gonna look forward to doing in the future up here. This is definitely a hidden gem in my opinion. But this is trail 57. So we're gonna take it and it's it says on the map it's a must see I think something like that so we're gonna do that.
So let me do a little explaining here. We came this way and assuming we were taking the right trail and then it gets steep right here, which is where we just went up. And then this is where we just came down. But where Brittany was really freaking out about was over here. Apparently the trail has washed. So, you can't get down it anymore and this is where she was saying no 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 because i wanted to get close enough to see but the trail has literally washed out here you can see that's where it went so i really don't know where this trail goes but look at all the snow on the, the mountains over there so i'm assuming they had a little trail that, where somebody went up so I'm wondering if maybe we could go up and go around if it hasn't washed over there. So, but, whew, out of breath. Currently we're at a little over 11,000 feet elevation. So, yeah, it's a little rough on you when you get out and run around. So anyway, we're going to head back and take the other trail where we split off, go the other way. So, let's go see what that's got to offer, huh? campground and I wanted to show you so that mountain range the top of that is where that sky skyline drive. skyline drive is so we went across the whole top of that mountain range all the way over to over here the next and then we rode back down to the next town and then came back to Mount Pleasant and then now we're going back to the campground all right so we made it back from our ride Mama's cleaning everything off because it's all dusty as can be. So, anyway, we uh, we had a great time. I would definitely suggest it. But uh, we would highly suggest coming here to uh, the Mount Pleasant campground here. It's a pleasant surprise. It's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> so, but I would say uh, it's it's pretty much a hidden gem that you know is off the beaten path kind of thing yeah, like unless you're from the area you probably don't know too much about it because it's not one of the big cities it's not like um you know you got moab and zion and bryce that's all the big things everybody talks about in utah but you know it's definitely a hidden gem yeah so we're about an hour and 45 minutes south of salt lake city is where mount pleasant is about an hour south of provo yeah an hour south of provo and uh as far as the map goes with the trails you want to open it up real fast and we'll show them but um there is a this is not ton just the skyline trails. drive yeah. so it's the arapine um trail yeah. system so let's see if we can hold it up for this is one side of the map but we're trying to tell you if she can figure out how to use a map nope, this way. <laughs> Still. all right we'll get it eventually so anyway you can see there's a ton of trails on there it even shows you where you can camp yeah it shows you where to fish um it shows you and the wind's blowing it away i know i All guess right. where there's water but flip it over and here's even more 
<laughs> Get it, girl. All right. But tons of. This is zoomed out, so this is yeah. more. It's tons of trails. And there's even a bunch that we found that's not even on the map. So definitely uh, suggest coming to check it out.